What if the choices of an entire city could lead to its downfall? Imagine two cities, bustling with life but filled with wrong choices. A man named Loot warned them, but were they ready to listen? What happened to these cities that vanished overnight? Could a message from the past still echo in our lives today? And what secrets do the time hold about the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah? Let's find out together. Long ago, in the city of Ur, a young man named Lut grew up under the guidance of his mentor, Ibrahim. This was a special family because Ibrahim was not just any man. He was a prophet, someone who spoke to God. Lut learned about God and righteousness from him. When the time came, they both left Ur and traveled to Canaan, a land filled with new promises. Lut's life took a turn when he was chosen for a big task. God asked him to go to Sodom and Gomorrah, two cities where people had forgotten how to be good. They were doing all sorts of wrong things, and Lut's job was to remind them about God and how to live rightly. So Lut went to these cities ready to teach the people about God and the right way to live. He told them about monotheism, which means believing in only one God. But the people of Sodom and Gomorrah laughed at him. They didn't want to change their ways. This story is about Prophet Lut, a man who never gave up trying to help his people. It shows us that even when things are difficult, it's important to keep trying to do good. This is the story of a man who, despite the odds, carried the torch of truth through the darkest of times. Prophet Lut faced a tough crowd in Sodom and Gomorrah. The people there were used to living a life full of bad deeds. They didn't treat strangers kindly, they took things that weren't theirs, and they did many other wrong things. When Lut started telling them about God and how they should only believe in one God, they didn't want to hear it. Lut kept trying to show them the right way, but the people just laughed and kept on with their bad behavior. It wasn't just a few people who were against him, it was almost everyone. They didn't like anyone telling them what to do especially when it came to changing their ways. Lut was patient, though. He knew it was important to keep trying, no matter how hard it got. He stood strong and kept sharing his message, hoping that the people would listen and change. In the story of Prophet Lut, the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah and the people there had lost their way, indulging in acts that were not just frowned upon, but were seen as direct defiance of the divine order. The first of these was inhospitality. Unlike the warm welcome that is valued so much today, visitors to these cities were treated with suspicion and cruelty. They were not offered shelter or kindness. Instead, they were often robbed and harmed. Robbery was another rampant issue. The people of Sodom and Gomorrah didn't respect the belongings of others. Travelers passing through the cities would find themselves stripped of their possessions, leaving them with nothing. But perhaps the most talked about sin was their sexual misconduct. The men of these cities preferred the company of other men over women, engaging in acts that were considered unnatural. This behavior was not hidden away but done openly, and it became a defining trait of the cities. Prophet Lut tried to guide them back to the right path, warning them of the consequences of their actions. He urged them to turn away from their sins and seek forgiveness. However, his words fell on deaf ears as the people continued in their ways, proud and unrepentant. In Islamic tradition, the story of Prophet Lut and his nation is a powerful reminder of the consequences of straying from moral and divine laws. Prophet Lut was sent to these cities with a clear message, change your ways and follow the path of God. He warned them again and again about the dangers of their actions and how they were going against what God wanted for them. But the people didn't listen thinking nothing bad would happen. In Islam, these actions are considered serious because they go against the core values of being kind, respecting others' property, and living a life that's pleasing to God. Prophet Luke kept telling the people that if they didn't stop, there would be consequences. He wasn't just trying to scare them, he was trying to save them. The warnings given by Prophet Luke were not taken seriously, and eventually, the cities were destroyed. This destruction serves as a warning to all of us. It shows that there are limits to what is acceptable and that going beyond these limits can lead to serious trouble. One day, something unusual happened to Prophet Ibrahim. Three visitors came to see him. They looked like ordinary men, but they were actually angels sent by God. These were no ordinary guests. They had a special message to deliver. The angels first gave good news to Prophet Ibrahim. They told him that his wife, Sarah, would have a son, and they would name him Isaac. 
This was a happy surprise because they were both very old. But the angels had another message, a serious one. They were on their way to the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, where Prophet Lut lived, and they were sent to destroy them because they wouldn't listen to Prophet Lut's warnings. Prophet Ibrahim was worried when he heard this. He knew his nephew, Prophet Lut, was in those cities. He cared about Lut and didn't want anything bad to happen to him. The angels told Ibrahim not to worry. They said, We know who is there. We will save Lut and his family, except for his wife, who will stay behind. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah were about to face a great test. But there was hope for Lut and his followers. They were promised safety. The angels who visited Prophet Ibrahim had a clear message. Those who believed in the words of Lut would be saved. They were to leave the city, not looking back, as the destruction was about to begin. All except one, Lut's wife. She was to remain behind. Why was Lut's wife not saved? The angels said she was of those who lagged behind, a part of the people who denied the signs of God. Despite her close relationship with the prophet, she chose not to believe and not to follow. Finally, a day came that shook the earth and changed history. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, known for their wrong ways, were about to face a punishment like no other. The skies above these cities darkened as a storm of a different kind approached. It wasn't rain that fell from the heavens, but stones of baked clay. Each stone was marked, destined for a home, a street, a person. It was precise, a targeted punishment for a people who had turned away from the path of righteousness. The ground trembled, and a once bustling place filled with laughter and noise fell silent. Buildings crumbled, and the cities that stood proud were now nothing but ruins. This wasn't just a natural disaster. It was a divine message. After the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah, what was left was a land that no longer bore the marks of civilization. The once thriving cities were now a silent testament to the consequences of turning away from the path of goodness and righteousness. The aftermath was not just about the physical destruction. It was a lesson for all time. It showed that when a society forgets to be kind, to respect others, and to follow a moral path, there can be serious consequences. The story of these cities is a reminder that actions have results, and sometimes those results are more serious than we can imagine. The area where Sodom and Gomorrah once stood became a symbol of destruction, a place where life struggled to exist. It's said that nothing grows there, not even grass and the air smells of sulfur, a reminder of the fiery end that the cities met. This story from the past is still relevant today. It teaches us to think about how we live and treat others. It's a call to remember that there's a right way to live, and when we forget that, we risk a lot. The story of Prophet Lut and his people is a powerful message for everyone, everywhere about the importance of living a life that's good and true. What will we take from this story? That's for us to decide as we move forward in our own lives.